You play me a song? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, let me hear you. Can you sing? Yeah. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, so nice. Yeah. Okay, hi friends, welcome back to Oso Farm. Today we have a second part of our June once a month grocery haul. You are gonna hear my little Evan in the background with his new piano. That was one thing that came from our Target haul. So today I went to Target, Drug Emporium, and Aldi. I debated on trying to move him, but y'all are always so gracious in including him and loving to see him. So hopefully y'all will enjoy the background music. I ended up buying, for Christmas, he got a Little Tykes piano like that that had the cord and microphone and it broke and he asked for it and signed for it forever. And so I had been looking and this one was actually on sale at Target, so this will be hours of fun today. So if you are new here, my name is Brandy. We have 10 children, ages 21 down to six, which is my Evan, and we homeschool. We are home all of the time because of that, and my husband works from home. So we eat almost all of our meals at home for the month. In the past, I have always done once a month grocery hauls. I keep rethinking this. Can you go show Isaiah yeah. your thing? Okay, really quick. Can you say thank you for your piano and say bye? So I'm gonna go sing. Okay. I know y'all would probably love it, but it was distracting me. Isaiah, he's gonna come do play music with you. Okay, so I, I um, placed my order for Target for pickup. Bring your, bring your thing, go play with Isaiah. Come on, look, he's gonna take it. Go in there with him. Go on, go play songs. I placed a Target pickup order and everything that I could pick up in the store I selected that option and then I have a big shipping order coming back in December. I don't think I showed this in a grocery haul, but I did a pretty massive Target shipping order of tons of noodles and pasta sauces and some canned goods. And that actually, we are kind of down to where we're using up the last of that. So I have a rotating pantry. Um, in an upcoming video, I'm going to show you how our pantry and refrigerator and freezers are organized. And then we also have a barn dominium on our house that has a full kitchen. And so I use that pantry as my kind of back stock. And then when this pantry is out, I rotate it into there and then restock the one, our second house. So let me show you what I got for Target. At Target, we have a few big things this month. My Danny that y'all all know and love, my grandson, is turning one in July, but we're celebrating his birthday this month so that um, relatives can come in. That was kind of the time that worked for everybody. So I have some of his birthday items in this Target order. Also, my hand is killing me. I have a son that is Moving out tomorrow, he just graduated our, from our homeschool and is living in some student housing. And um, so I have a few items in this hall also that I will be sending on to his first apartment tomorrow. Okay, it's not super organized because it was so much and then sweet Evan kind of pushed it all to the side. But um, usually I buy our marinara sauce at Aldi, but this was about the same price. I want to say it was under a dollar sixty a jar, so I bought ten. And if there's not ten here, the other ones will be coming um, in my shipping order. And then I did get ten of their pizza sauce. This is the Good and Gather brand. We've been really happy 
with this brand and um, this was actually, I price checked this cheaper than at Aldi or Walmart. I got some fun teas to try. I got this green tea, organic green tea, organic black tea, and orange spice. And then this sweet tangerine and honey lavender. I placed a big is your order that I pick up on Friday and most, I would say almost all of their flour was out of stock. And so this is not the flour that I wanted to get. I knew I needed some unbleached. I tried to get unbleached organic flour, but this is all that I could get. So I went ahead and got four. So that's 20 pounds of flour from Target. I got one more of these reusable cleaning bottles. I'm gonna keep this in our spare house. We um, use the Young Living Thieves Concentrate. I got a gluten-free Funfetti cake. I'm gonna make this for me and my sister for Danny's party so we have something to eat. This is one of Danny's gifts, this little see and say, it's so cute. Um, let me see. Hopefully Evan won't hear it because he'll want me to open it. little noises and you can identify different animals, farm animals and zoo animals. I thought that was really cute. Um, I ate this last month and it was actually really good. This is um, from the frozen section at Target. This Udi's three cheese ravioli. This is gluten free. And then we are throwing Danny a dinosaur party kind of in these blues and greens. So I'm going to wrap his gifts that we got him in this paper. Here's some frozen Waffles, I've had these before. These are pretty good. These are gluten-free, and then I got gluten-free double stuff. These are for my, my bathroom and the powder bathroom. I had just been buying disposable um, hand soap, but I wanted to move to something that was more reusable, and then the pump for my dish soap totally died, so I got this for the sink. These gain pods are what I'm sending with my son tomorrow um, into his apartment. This is kind of his little pile from Target. I got this command hook. I don't know, I didn't have a purpose for it, but I thought maybe once we're there setting him up, that would come in handy. Tylenol, Advil, some kind of cheapy paper plates, and then, um, I don't know if y'all have seen this, these are tone Band-Aids, but they have different skin tucks skin colors and so I thought this was or we've been using this for a couple years now so I got him a pack of band-aids um, I love this good and gather they're different types of salsa this is a pineapple peach and mango peach these usually if we open these this size how many ounces is this 16 ounces is usually gone in one sitting for us okay so lots of dressings and y'all have seen in my past grocery hauls some of these good and gather sauces I won't go through each one but those are really yummy this mandarin orange um I have I think I shared this in my last grocery haul you just buy the popcorn chicken cook it in the oven and then pour this on top and serve with rice and it's like um Chinese food that you would get like at takeout all of these do have wheat listed as an ingredient. So I do not eat this when they do. I usually have other things prepared or a salad. I got two of these organic Dijon mustard. I use Dijon in World's Best Chicken and then I like this on my sandwiches. These dipping sauces are really good. This is one we haven't tried, creamy buffalo. And we've gotten this, I think this is our third or fourth time, this chipotle sauce. And this one is so good on tacos, this creamy lime. Okay, I think that is all for Target. I had a couple of t-shirts in here for me. I won't show you those, but we love these Good & Gather Sparkling Waters. I tried to get a few flavors that we hadn't tried before, like the strawberry mango. I think we've had ginger peach. 
Um, so this will last more than a month. There's really only three of us that really like the sparkling water. And then this size, these are 99 cents each. I always just pick up a couple. This is 33 ounces. If we're going to be gone for a whole day or kind of doing a big project, those are good to carry around. I got some Miracle Grow Pour and Feed for our house plants and some of our pots out front. And then I got, I, I didn't take them all out, but I got four more bags of this natural and organic potting mix. I'm going to try to um, start a few more seeds. I know it is really late in the growing season to probably be restarting, but this is our first garden of this size and we're still learning a lot and we really haven't been able to harvest anything. We're kind of at the point where a lot of things is now fruiting and flowering, but we have lost a lot of plants and we've learned a lot. So I think we're gonna retry some squash plants and we're having terrible luck with all of our cucumbers and beans. They get about this tall and then they just stop growing and they even produce fruit or produce the beans when they're like this big. So it's weird. If you have any advice on that, I would really appreciate that. So we're gonna move on to Drug Emporium. That is a local store here that has all sorts of toiletries and then it also has like a vitamin section that has a ton of all natural, organic and gluten-free and vegan options. So I usually go in there just once a month and kind of stock up on some things for myself. If you are new to our channel, um, I was diagnosed with celiac disease about two years ago, so it is still a learning curve for me. Okay, we buy these um, at Drug Emporium, and we kind of got two of each flavor, raspberry, pineapple, apple, peach, and blackberry. Um, when these are done, the kids like to use these as just a glass, so these were priced anywhere from $2.51 to $1.53. The apple jelly is really cheap. Um, I don't know if I mentioned apple, but we did get apple. Oh, and we got pineapple. So, looking forward to those. The most expensive one, I guess, is this $2.53. I got two packages of the Udi Classic Hamburger Buns, two packages of just the whole grain sandwich bread. I've never tried these cots gluten-free English muffin. Every English muffin I've ever tried, I literally take a bite and then just throw it out. It's usually so dry and tough. So I hope, I've never seen this before. I hope that is a good solution. I've gotten these a few times, these Pamela bars. Um, they're kind of pricey. There's five bars for $3.25. So this is just something if I'm on the go or in my purse to keep. I saw these onion rings. I know I can make onion rings with, you know, um, gluten-free panko or breadcrumbs, but this just caught my eye, so I'm gonna try that. I always get these Annie's meals, a couple of them, just for when, like I showed you before, the Good and Gather things that maybe have some wheat in, I can just microwave these quick. Trying a new brand of fish sticks. And these are really, really good. These Blue Diamond Almond Nut Thins. I got cheddar cheese and ranch. I got two of the um, baguettes that are gluten-free. And then this sourdough sandwich bread. I think there's six slices in there. And it was about a dollar a slice. But it's really, really soft. So I'm going to get this straight into the freezer. And hopefully that will be a nice sandwich. I got a couple of gluten-free um, pie crusts. I got a graham cracker. Notice the price on here, $5.35. But totally worth it when you just want a dessert that everybody else is having. And $5.35 for the chocolate. These are so good. These are raw that you keep in the freezer, these gluten-free pie crusts. There's two in here for $5.05, so $2.50 per pie crust isn't terrible for gluten-free. Okay, so I'm moving on now to our last stop of today, which is Aldi. And it was a pretty good sized haul. And I think the only thing that I couldn't find was chicken, which I got two packs and that was basically all that they had there outside of different kind of cuts that I didn't want to get. 
So we got a big stack of cereal. If you've watched our vlog the last few months, you know that I used to buy a lot of cereal and now I'm only buying about five boxes a month. We're trying to eat more whole foods for breakfast, but this is just nice to have and the kids love cereal. So I got three bags of pretzels and four packages of bagels. We do bagels and cream cheese one morning. This is my part of my small produce. We eat a ton of grapes. So I got two bags of green, two bags of purple. These were really inexpensive, these fresh um, green beans. They were $1.69 a bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these prepped and ready for a dinner. And then four things of blueberries. Evan has kind of a love-hate relationship with this. Some days he'll sit down and eat almost an entire pint and then he will reject them for weeks. So I never know how many to buy. I've never bought brisket like this. Ooh, dropping cheese. But it's already seasoned, it's raw. It had cooking instructions for the oven and I went ahead and bought two. They were both about $20, so $40 is definitely an expensive dinner for us, sort of like the chuck roast. But this will definitely be a full dinner. If we use this as chopped sandwiches, we could probably get two meals out of that. If you just watched my June Sam's haul, you saw that bacon, it was a huge box, but it was $49, $50 for bacon. These were $9 for one and a half pounds Okay, I went ahead and got two because I love this on hamburgers and sandwiches. I have some cooked and frozen for recipes, so I think this will just kind of be a splurge. So these two packages were $18. It's so crazy. Four pie crusts and some block, four things of block cheese, two pepper jack, two Colby jack. These are the only chicken breasts that I was able to purchase this month so far. And... Look at this price, they were only $1.99 a pound, but this was all that they had. So this is, each one of these are about four pounds. We, this is about one meal for us. Four of the spreadable butters, let's see, five packages of their sweet cream butter, four things of macaroni, these pretzel slims, some vanilla wafers, got some more produce here, um, nine green peppers, and then some different kind of squash. Evan's rice rusks, he loves those. And lots of canned goods. Two things of corn, so 12 cans of corn, 12 cans of green beans, six of kidney beans, and six of pork and beans. Lastly, this is a small section that I'm sending with my son tomorrow. Um, he's gonna go to the grocery store to get what he wants, but these are things that I knew he would like. Some cookies, two more mac and cheese, um, oatmeal cream pies, and his favorite granola bar. More tea packages, some just green tea and lemon green tea, cake mixes, two boxes of granola bars, the Italian season mix. This is so good. This guacamole salsa. I only have one of these in the pantry, so this is for just our back stock, two, thing, two small cans of mushrooms, six cherry pie fillings. I think I only have, I think I used up all my pie filling actually. I think I only have um, raspberry in the pantry. Three things of the cooking spray. We were totally out of avocado oil. I tried to add this to my Azure order and couldn't, so I just got two of these. These were $7 a bottle. So I only picked up two, but that should definitely last us maybe a month or two. We love to buy nuts at Aldi. I got these um, unsalted cashews, two packages of those. I absolutely know we can make cookies ourselves, but sometimes it's just nice to have this as a quick snack. I got these pecan shortbread. We tried these last month and liked them. I didn't, they did. And the iced oatmeal cookies, if we open this, the whole package is gone. So this really is just like one little snack, one box of oatmeal cream pies for us. If you are a wine drinker and haven't tried their Winking Owl wine, it's very inexpensive and I like it. 
some gluten-free wraps. This is probably my favorite gluten-free product, this um, General Tso's chicken. So, so good. In fact, my kids that have tried it said the gluten-free, they prefer to one that I buy at Walmart. But I just can't buy this size package for everybody because it definitely costs more. One more gluten-free yellow cake mix. I got these, just gluten-free chicken nuggets. This is these, this is a little snack for me, coconut, cashew crisp, and then there's one more um, yellow cake mix. Okay, so that does it for today's haul. I'm really tired. <laughs> And I'm thinking not too much of it. I think most of it just goes, gets thrown in the freezer. Um, so the only thing I have left to do is do a Walmart pickup order, but I need to make a list of everything that my son still needs. I was driving and thought, oh my gosh, he doesn't have a can opener. So he does have roommates, and so I don't know what that looks like. So tomorrow we're probably gonna do either shop the store or a pickup. I'll kind of see how the day goes. So if you like grocery hauls, there's Evan coming with his music. Be sure to subscribe and like this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye friends.